So, so far we have studied about the nth term of an AP starting from the beginning. Now, we are going to look at finding the nth term of, an, of a given AP from the end. So, the next subtopic is to find the nth term from end of an AP. Now, consider an AP with the first term as A, the second term as A plus D, wherein D is the common difference and we go on proceeding by writing the number of terms. But here, we have the last term as L. If the last term is L, what will be the second last term? It will be one, it will be D less than the last term. So, it will be L minus D. What will be the second last term? The second last term will be L minus D minus D because the difference has to be D. So, here we have plus because we are going to the right. So, every subsequent term minus the preceding term should be 0, uh, should be D. So, here we have A plus D minus A is equal to D. So, D is the common difference. Here also you will see L minus L minus D would give you D. So, the common difference has to be D and the last term is L. So, we have an AP in this form. Now, if we have an AP in this form, then the last term can be written as L or L minus 1 minus 1 into D. If you remember, if you recall how we wrote the nth term from the beginning, we wrote it as a n and what was a n equal to? It was equal to a that is the first term plus n minus 1 into D. Similarly, we try to formulate a formula with respect to the last term and the common difference. So, the last term is L minus 1 minus 1 into D that is L that we know. The second last term is L minus D as you can see and that can be written as L minus 2 minus 1 into D. So, we have L minus D. Similarly, the third last term can be written as L minus 3 minus 1 into D that is L minus 2 D. So, if we go on writing the terms from the back from the last term onwards, what we will be, what will we get? We will get the nth term from the end. The nth term from the end will be L minus n minus 1 into D. For example, here we were calculating the third last term. So, the third last term from the end will be L minus instead of n we will be writing 3 because we have to calculate the third last term. Similarly, we can find any term from the end using this formula L minus n minus 1 into D where L is the last term of the given AP and D is the common difference of the AP and n is the nth term that we need to find out, the nth value of the term that we need to find out. Let us now look at a few illustrations for questions that are based on this particular subsection and then we will be understanding it in greater detail. Now, to understand how we uh, solve the problems related to finding the nth term from the n, let us take an example. What does the example say? Example says that we have to find out the fifth term from the end for the given AP 17, 14, 11 it goes on to minus 40. Now, for the given AP, we have to find the nth term from the end. The nth term from the end, if you recall, the formula that we used was L minus n minus 1 into D, where L is the last term, n is the value, nth value that we have to find. Here we have to find the fifth term, so n will be 5 and D is the common difference. What is the last term for the given AP? It is equal to minus 40. What is the value of n? n is 5 because we have to find the fifth term from the end. And what is the common difference? You can pick up any two values from the given AP, any two consecutive values and take their difference. So, 14 minus 17 would be given, would be giving us minus 3. So, the common difference would be 14 minus 17 is equal to minus 3. So, we substitute the values to find out the fifth term from the end. So, we have L equal to minus 40 minus 5 minus 1, n is equal to 5 and the common difference is minus 3. 5 minus 1 would give you 4. So, we have minus 4 into minus 3 which will be equal to 12. So, we have minus 40 plus 12 that will give us minus 28. So, the fifth term from the end for the given AP would be minus 28. There is another way that you can approach this problem. The given AP can also be rearranged. We can write the last term as the first term. We can reverse the order of the terms. It will still be an AP. But what will change? If the fifth term from the end for the given AP will, e will be equal to the fifth term from the start for the reversed AP. The reversed AP will be minus 40 
minus 37, so on, and it will go on till 14 and 17. We just reverse the order. So, before minus 40, what will you get here? It will be minus 37 because the common difference is minus 3. So, you have to reduce 3. You have to keep on reducing 3 from here. And if you go backwards, you have to add 3. So, here you can see minus 40 minus minus 37 is equal to minus 3, which is the common difference of the given AP. So, we are not disturbing the common difference. This is the reversed or the rearranged AP that we get. So, the fifth term from the end for the given AP will be equal to the fifth term from beginning for this rearranged AP. And for finding the fifth term from the beginning, we already have the formula a n equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. Only thing here is that a will now be minus 40 because this is the rearranged AP that we are considering. The common difference would be take any two values, any two consecutive values. So, it will be 17 minus 14 is equal to 3. Recall that there the common difference was coming out to be minus 3. Here it is coming out to be 3 because we have changed the order, we have reversed the order. So, the common difference has also reversed its sign. The n, the value of n remains the same, it remains 5. So, we substitute the value a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d, a is equal to minus 40, n is equal to 5, d is equal to 3. If you, if you put in the values, you will again get minus 28. So, there are two ways of approaching this problem finding out the nth term from the end, you can use the formula L minus n minus 1 into d or if you have trouble uh, remembering a lot of formulas, what you can do is you can reverse the order of the given AP and still use the formula that we used for finding the nth term from the beginning which was a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d where a is the first term, n is the nth term that we want to find out and d is the common difference. So, this is how you approach the problems for this. Now, we will be taking up a few more illustrations on miscellaneous problems in arithmetic progression that we have studied so far and then after that section, after the illustrations get over, we will be getting into finding the sum to n terms of it, AP. So, let us look at a few more illustrations now.